into the future what do you see i really need to know now is there a place for me if we're gonna survive the dream must stay alive authorities are appealing for calm throughout the evacuation process Hey, Ellie, that's not in the rules. You can't do that. Hey, guys, 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 this is basketball, okay, not rugby. Well, you may be playing basketball, Jack, but I'm playing rugby ball. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off her. I said get off her, right? Okay, Jack, we were just fooling around. What is your problem, Jack? Okay, nothing. Can someone please tell me why the manhole cover was left off last night? You mean it was open all night? Well, it must have been. Maybe Casey left it open, in case his rat decided to come home. <laughs> you really think this is funny? Oh, come on, haven't you heard? The Chosen aren't around anymore. So what are you saying, Allie? That it's safe out there? The world is full of cuddly little teddy bears that mean us no harm? Don't be stupid, of course not. I'm not the one being stupid here, Allie. And Lex didn't see it. I, I think he's sick or something. Come on, Danny, give them a break. It, it was a mistake, and it won't happen again. Will it? No, no. 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 Until the next little party, you mean. Great team you got here, Bray. But maybe you should think about teaching them the rules of survival before they move on to basketball. One of you is Kane. I have a message for the Guardian. Just let me in. I'm okay, Alice. Please, just leave me alone. Lex, you're sick. You need someone to look after you. I'm just going to go get you something. <coughs> Don't die on me, Lex. Maybe she's right. Maybe I am dying. It's just mild food poisoning. Mild? Oh, how would you know? Maybe it's an appendicitis. You can die from that, you know? A little appendix thing, it goes all bad and fills up with pus. And it gets real big and the next thing you know, it explodes all over the walls. And... Lex, you haven't got appendicitis. <laughs> How do you know? Because you have an appendix scar. Hey, well, maybe when the man cut me open, he took the wrong thing by accident. Yeah, like your brain. <sighs> Look, it's definitely something you've eaten. I'll go and make up something for you to take. Uh, no, uh, it, it can't be. Why? Because the only thing I've eaten was cooked by the best cook I know. Trudy. <clears throat> do you know how paranoid you sound? I mean, they made a mistake. They're just kids. Give them a break. We're all just kids. Or have you forgotten that? What has got into you, Bray? They look up to you. If you let go, then they will let go. Did you know that Ebony's having a pool party today? So maybe pool parties are Ebony's thing this month. Maybe Ebony is a pool party animal. Then you tell me why, when I went by this morning, the place was buzzing with militia. Look at the power base she's got built up. Look at the way she's got her people trained. Well, we leave our doors and the manhole cover wide open all night. Look, we have to remain vigilant, Bray. Or is that just paranoia, too? Well, go on harder. It's not going to go, Jack. Well, just try harder. It's stuck in the groove, like you. OK, fine. OK, I'm coming down. 
We'll roll out the red carpet then. Hey, Ryan. Could you only give us a hand? What is wrong with Jack today? Same thing that's wrong with him every day, I guess. Right, what is it? Okay, when I say, you just gotta pull it up. Don't be stupid. That'll make it worse. We need to dismantle it. No, we don't. We've just got to put it back on the runners. Yes. Are you we okay? Have to get it back yeah. Runners. What's happening here? I think it's called Two Chiefs Too Many. Rubbish. All we have to do is Ryan, say you were to hire yourself out for a day. How many tokens would you charge? You got some Eskimos you want Ryan to sell the fridge to? No. I just need protection for a couple of days. I got some bets to pay off on the rat race then. I uh, forget it. I reckon they will. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, Ryan. Ryan, are you you ready? Don't do it, Jack. Come on, I'm in charge here, right? Jack, you do that, idiot. The whole thing's gonna jam. Dal. What? I'm gonna the pair of you. Right. Let's sort this out calmly. Jack, you tell us what you think should be done, and then Dal, you tell us what you think. Then we'll vote. Well, I have a message, Guardian, from the Supreme Mother. And her work? Almost done. Then it's time. Let the terror begin. I told you. Now it's gonna take twice as long to fix it. Well, it wouldn't if you just put it back on the runners, would it? Hey, what's going on? Jack just destroyed the group, that's what. You know what, I, I can't work with this guy, Bray. I just can't. Ellie, Ellie, uh, would you mind please talking some sense to me? Sure. For some reason known only to him, Jack has decided to behave like a caveman. And the rest of us, including the grill, are suffering. I'm the caveman because he won't follow any orders? I don't take orders from you. Knock it off, okay? We all need to work together to sort this out. We're back on watch, and that means the holiday is over. And we start by overhauling the mall security system today, okay? That's fine, but just tell him who's boss. Not you, Jack. You're going to Ebony's. But I'm needed here. You're needed at Ebony's, all right? Ryan, Casey, can you help now? Uh, sorry, no can do, Barry. I've got to do something for Lux. Ellie, would you mind helping Dal? What? No problem. You can show me everything you know, can't you, Dal? Hi. Hi. He won't let me in. And there's something wrong with him. I um, heard he might have food poisoning. I got him some of this. This is much better. It's more natural. He's such a good person. What do you mean? Well, you don't even like him, do you? But you're still doing something nice for him. Unlike me. I'm loyal as hell to the ones I love. The rest can go hang. Alice, don't make me better than you. I didn't. Here, you give this to him. You should be the one to look after him. I said. He needs to take one cup every hour. Are you okay? I said. Sure. What do you think, Brady? Think I'm ready? Think I'll be a good mom? Don't you ever touch her! I can't even heat her milk without one of you coming and interfering! I'm sorry! What do you want? It doesn't matter. I'll see you later. Celine! I'm sorry. It's not you. When I was with the Chosen, I was always scared for her. You understand? Of course. Let's start again, shall we? You're worried about something. You want to talk. It was... Uh, 
Ryan asked me to marry him. Oh. You want me to be happy for you? I don't know. He is a good person. Yeah. But you're not sure if that automatically makes him a good husband. It'd be terrible to turn him down and then find you wanted him. I know. But then again, it also must be terrible to marry someone and then find out you're actually in love with someone else. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Don't you? You mean Bray? No. There was never any chance there. But supposing there was, who'd it be, Sal? Ryan? Or Bray? You want my advice? Go and talk to him. To Bray? Yes. Only when you're talking to him, don't just listen to what he's saying. Listen to how you feel in your heart. You weren't expected today. What? Here, yeah, look, I'm always expected. Hey, go, go, go and check it out with her if you want. Nobody disturbs her. Those are her orders. Fine, fine. Then I'll, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and tell her you wouldn't let me do the work that she had personally, personally asked me to carry out. I'd let him in. We'll be keeping an eye on you. You just have to understand that I'm the one to look after you. Even Tysan said that, you know. Mm. Have you noticed anything about her lately? Mm? I mean, she's just usually so composed. <clears throat> oh, Alice, what are you trying to do? Draw me in herbs? I'm sorry. Lately, she's she's been sort of distant. Strange. Alice, Tyson is always strange. Just forget about it. Hi. Oh, Lex, it can't have been the meal I cooked you last night, can it? Of course not. It was fantastic. Have you been really ill? Yeah, I'm terrible. What, throwing up all night? I'm telling you, Trudy, I felt like I'd been poisoned. I didn't even know if I was going to make it. You'll get better. Soon you'll be back to the old devious scheming Lex we all know and love. Yes, well, he needs rest now, Trudy. Of course he does. I'll come back and see you soon. And when you get better, I will cook you a fantastic meal. <sighs> she made you a meal? Uh, listen guys, okay, I've got to work on some photosensitive equipment in here, so you don't mind if I shut the door, do you? Hey, I tell you what, I've got to work on this stuff for uh, at least an hour, so why don't you guys just lock me inside and take a break? Fair enough. <laughs> Go to hell. Is there something in the air today, or do I smell? Take a seat. Ryan asked me to marry him. And I don't know what to do. Then I can't tell you. See, Ryan's a... Good person. Yeah, I know. And we're happy together, but forever? Maybe you're just frightened. I know I would be if I had to think of me and Danny and forever right now. You would? Sure. 
Celine, it's all those might have beens. You make one choice, and all the things you could have done, they're gone. You think you and me were might have beens? Maybe once. But um, but look at us now. I mean, me and Danny, and and you and Ryan. Uh, Celine, sometimes might have been are just voices in the wind. They're there to confuse us, make us lose our way. Look, follow what's in your heart, and if that leads you to Ryan, he's a lucky man. Just about every tribal leader in the city. What are you up to, Ebony? I know the Chosen and the Guardian are around, and I'm gonna get them. They're definitely out there, but dangerous they are. Be careful. Can I have everybody's attention? We're here to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> and to do some talking. So if the tribal leaders would like to make their way to my suite, we can get the business of the day out of the way in private. The rest of you, enjoy yourselves. We'll be back shortly. This way. Work you, work you. He owes us. That right, KC? You gonna cough up? Yeah, sure. As soon as I get it. So in soon. You gonna answer this man's question, KC? One week max. I just didn't expect the race to go the way it did. That's understandable when you say boys. He owes us. Tell you what, you come and see me in one week. By then, KC will have come up with the goods, or else I'll give you KC. <clears throat> All right. One week. We are all here at this time. Thanks, Ryan. You saved my neck. You little creep. I don't care if they catch you and string you up. You hear me? Ryan! Hey, okay, shut the door. I'm not finished. Supposing they're not. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. Okay. Let's be crazy. Let's say they're coming soon. What are we gonna do? While you're thinking, I'd like to put something to you. Seems to me we have three options. Like, first we can. No, you stupid. What? Has anyone seen Trudy? She was in the cafe. Celine. You see, there goes another one in a bad mood. Maybe there's an invisible gas slowly concentrating in the air, and we're all gonna go psycho. You did really well today. What, for a girl? Careful, Dal. No, no. I mean, we had fun, don't you think? Yeah, we did. Maybe we should do it again. Maybe. I'll see you later, Dal. I'm going to accept him. I thought I'd let you know. So what happened with Bray? I've got to go tell Ryan. Celine, 
Do you know what a compromise is? It's living with second best. I'm only saying it because I want you to be happy. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Whatever you choose. Don't make yourself spend the rest of your life living with a compromise. I'll see you guys later. Sort out the nighttime security. So we'll find your bed. Then I gotta, I gotta get back. I, I promised Sally. Too bad. She'll just have to wait. Besides, there's a storm brewing. You don't want to be caught up in that, do you? Oh, there's a storm right there. Yeah. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Yeah, sorry. I was just thinking. What about now? Do you remember when you saved me from that horrible Dirk and Rowan? Yeah, so? Well, I was so surprised. So relieved it was you. I mean, you're my knight in shining armor. You saved me and looked after me, like you so often do. Don't you resent that? What? I mean, that, the bulimia and all the other stupid things I've done. Why should I? Anyway, you saved me, remember? Yeah, the bridge. Ryan, you'd never try to... Look, if you're trying to tell me you want to marry me because you're afraid I'll top myself... I wouldn't do that to you. Why, Ryan? Why do you want it to be marriage? Because I love you. Why can't we just go on like we are now? It's snow. I, I don't want to hurt you. Isn't it? It's snow. <laughs> 